it's raining. But don't worry, I've got 10 things you can do at camp when it's raining outside and you're stuck inside. Number one, circle games. Circle games, you know, gets all your campers involved, you're in a circle, you're playing games. Number two, come up with games that everyone can get into. People are different, campers are people. For example, charades. Some of your more shy campers can write down different things that your more outgoing campers can act out. Charades. Number three, utilize your props. What do we got? We got card games, we got board games, we got storytelling, we got costume party, we got throw a party, we got music time, we got campfire, we got build your own skateboard. Number four, get your sleeping bags and play a game of slugs. <laughs> Secret slug meeting. Three minutes! Number five, check in with your campers. Hey Jack, what's up? What are you reading? Um, everything's okay. Thanks for checking in. As you can see, Jack wasn't really reading anything. Downtime's a great time to check in with your campers, especially the ones who might be having a tough time. Number six, plan a big event or performance you and your kids can put on later in the week for the rest of camp. I'm talking skits, songs, flash mobs, dances, performances, slam poetry. Number seven, always have a rainy day emergency bag on hand. Every good counselor has one. Speaker, snacks, cards, nail polish, flashlight. Number eight, fort building. Clay, we need your help. Number nine, play a reverse Dutch auction. <laughs> All right, everybody, everyone get something from your bags you would use to train a dragon. Well, the thing about dragons is they're hungry and they're delicate. That's why I pitched chopsticks to train my dragon. Number 10, dance party, enough said.